about a Sunday school lesson that we did on the fifth Sunday of October. That lesson is Rejoice Anyway. And it comes out of Habakkuk 2, 1 through 5, and then 3, 17 through 19. So one of the things that I want you all to do is to, if you have questions or any comments, I really need you to, to, to you know, come into the lesson and let us get engaged on any question that you might have. Let me just give you a little background about uh, Habakkuk. Habakkuk was a prophet, and his uh, audience, or his group, is that he was a prophet to Judah. And uh, Habakkuk was really upset with God because he could not believe that God would have him uh, uh, give a prophet to Israel. Because you, if you know anything about Israel, Israel uh, did a lot of things a lot of times, and they were always uh, repenting, and they're always coming back, and God forgives them. And then they go right back out and do the same thing. So Habakkuk could not understand how God had let them get away with that. And he told, he even asked God. He said, now how could you let them do that as bad as they are? And then also just uh, letting uh, Babylon, who was even worse than, than uh, Israel. So that was what he was saying. And so this lesson uh, is Rejoice. Anyway, I need you all to all say rejoice anyway. Rejoice. Use your phone phone. Rejoice anyway. Up high, up high. Surely, okay? <laughs> and, and so with that comes the fact that I would love for you all to read the scripture. The scriptures that we've already talked about. Habakkuk 2, 1 through 5. And then you're going to read Habakkuk 3, 17 through 19. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. Use your outside voice. And will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Uh, and the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that leadeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold his soul. Behold his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. But the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also. Yea, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home so enlarges his desire as hell, and it is and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, and gathereth upon him all nations, and keepeth unto him all people. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. You're going to read what? Habakkuk 3, 17 through 19. Right. Even the fig trees have no blossoms and there's no grapes on the vine. Even though the olive crop fails and the fields lie empty and barren. Even if the flocks die and the fields and the cattle barns are empty, yet I will rejoice in the Lord and I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. The, the sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes for me a sure-footed enemy. Able to able to tread upon the highest for the the chore director and friend to is to be accompanied by a string instrument. Okay, thank you, thank you. You, you get you get off the right now, <laughs> but I'm going to ask you a question. One of the things that when you were reading that scripture, was there any word that stood out to you uh, that you were familiar with? When when we when we look at what God is saying to Habakkuk, uh, think that the Lord answered me and said, "Write the vision and make it plain on tables that He may run that we." Okay, what about you? I got a word. The the sovereign Lord is my shepherd. So when I when I was studying for this lesson, 
one of the things that stood out to me was that Habakkuk said that he would stand uh, on watch and he was going to watch to see what God was saying to him. You know, because God, God, he, God actually gave him two answers. And so this second answer is when we talk about uh, Habakkuk 3, uh, 17. So the word that stood out to me is vision. And I need you to tell me what the word vision means to you. Okay. So we we know that vision in case two ways. You know, there's a spiritual vision that God gives to us. And then there's a vision that I use like glasses, magnifying glass, all of those things for a physical vision. So Habakkuk is talking to uh, God about the fact that He's going to stand on the walls and, and watch and see. Because what God said to Habakkuk was that I want you to write the vision. You know, I want you to write a vision. So can you imagine, and it says on tablet. So can you imagine that this is Habakkuk and he is writing the vision, what God is telling him. He's actually saying to him what's going to happen to Israel and um, you know all of the things that they've done bad. So now they're going to be punished for it. So that's the part of Habakkuk. One of the other things that I really want to talk about is the fact that um, when he gave them the rejoice, okay, when he gave them um, the, uh, the, when he gave us the Sunday school lesson to say rejoice anyway, he was actually saying that uh, things happen to you. How many of y'all know things happen to you? And when they happen to you, what happens? You've got to answer what God, you, you've got to actually uh, repent and really change up things. So one of the things that we want to do is that we want to always be listening. Always be listening for Habakkuk. So in conclusion, this is what I want you to say. Two I want you to say, okay, pick up your pom pom. This is it. What are you going to say? Rejoice anyway. That's the conclusion. Thank you all for your participation and for helping me get this video. How many minutes does it? 745. 745? Mm -hmm. Seven minutes and 45. Yeah. Is that what you got? Okay. You good with that? Are you good? Uh -huh. Okay. We good.